Hey, what's up everyone? It's a beautiful but really, really cold day out here at Keystone, Colorado. And today I'm checking out the Jones flagship snowboard. All right guys, the flagship is a really fun directional free ride snowboard and it packs in a ton of tech. As far as the directional aspects of the board go, it does have a directional shape, so it's gonna have a longer nose than tail outside those contact points, the widest point on the snowboard there in the nose and tail. It's also gonna have a setback stance, about a three centimeter setback stance, just pushing your weight closer to the tail of the snowboard, as well as a really small taper. So that tail is just gonna be a hair skinnier than the nose of the snowboard. Those three things are gonna help this guy float with minimal effort in powder, as well as its shallow planing 3D shaped nose. The flagship actually runs a spoon shaped nose and tail. So that's gonna help to float in powder as well as make it a little bit less hooky as you're cruising along cat tracks or other areas where it's pretty common to catch your edge. You're also gonna find a wavy kind of serrated edge on this snowboard. That's gonna really help it to bite down on harder packed or icy snow. I've been able to lay this board over out here today. It's been holding on really, really well. A lot of fun and a lot of edge hold on the flagship. And it also runs a centered base. So it's been really fast out here today. And I actually took it in the trees a little bit and uh, hit a couple of stumps and a couple of small rocks. No marks on the base. So the base is definitely a little bit more durable thanks to that centered material. And other than that, you'll also find some basalt stringers in this snowboard. So they start right under your feet and make like a V shape right out to the contact points just to help make this board a bit more responsive, transferring that energy from your foot out to the contact points as efficiently as possible. The flagship runs a cam rock camber profile. So it's camber between the feet with some rocker in the tips and it runs a pretty stiff flex as well. It's got a lot of stability and it's not a very pressable snowboard. It's quite stiff. Some of the highlights on the flagship for me personally is how well it's able to rail turns. It has actually a pretty big side cut radius, so it's really fun for carving at higher speeds. That wavy edge is gonna help it to really bite down on snow and provide a lot of grip. And that stiffer flex combined with that positive camber profile underfoot is gonna offer a lot of stability as well. It's pretty fun in the trees as well. It's actually quite a maneuverable snowboard. I'm on the 158 out here today, and that setback stance creates a bit of a shorter tail that makes this board really swivelly. So you're just kind of like needling that nose through the trees. Uh, you gotta watch out for the nose because it is a little bit longer, but that tail makes this board super maneuverable. So if you are going through some tight spaces, the flagship is gonna be able to handle that as well. As far as rider and mine goes, I would definitely say the flagship is geared more towards advanced riders that like to get out there and do some free riding. The type of person that can really use that stability. Someone that enjoys going really fast, laying out some turns. This is the type of board that doesn't have a speed limit. You're gonna find the limits of your body before you find the limits of the snowboard. Honestly, I was laying out turns on my toes today and I was just fully standing up, throwing all my weight into the snowboard, just having those G's carry me through the turn. Super, super fun carving snowboard. So if that sounds like you and you're looking for a board that can offer that type of riding as well as some nice float and powder, definitely do not overlook the Jones flagship. Awesome guys, I hope this video helps you out as you're out there looking at new boards this season. If you wanna check out the flagship in more detail, I'm gonna have it linked down in the description below. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I will see you in a new video soon.